Welcome to this short video introducing and explaining the difference between a citizen and an active citizen as part of the GCSE citizenship course. This is Sam. Sam was born in the UK and therefore is a British national. Because Sam was born here, he's also recognised as a British citizen. Now, in his local community, Sam will meet other people who are also recognised as citizens, but for different reasons. Dominique, for example, is recognised as a citizen because she is married to a British national. Bruce is also recognised as a British citizen because he took the citizenship test and passed and therefore has been awarded British citizenship. Being a citizen provides you a lot of rights as well as responsibilities. Some of these rights are that you can live and work in this country. You have the right to vote and stand as a, an election candidate. You can work, claim benefits and support systems. You can be joined by family members and hold a British passport as well as taking part in processes like serving on a jury. Now, until recently, being a British citizen also meant that we were connected to the EU and you had freedom of movement rights. So you could move around the European Union without any restrictions or limitations. Uh, as Brexit has now taken place, this is something that is not or is no longer possible. This is Jacob. Now, Jacob lives in the same area as Sam in, in the same community, but we wouldn't just necessarily call him a citizen. We would call him an active citizen. Now, to be an active citizen, this is about you wanting to make a difference to the world, to the country, the society, the community you live in and make it a better place for other people. And there are lots of ways you can be an active citizen. So for Jacob, you could take part in protests. You could research and think and investigate about an issue or a problem in your area. You could hold discussions with people around you, whether it's friends, families, relatives, or even strangers, and inform them and tell them about something that you have been investigating or something you're passionate about. You may want to raise money for charity. That could be by doing charitable work or collecting donations for other people from other people, sorry, to go to that charity. You may want to do your own research, so looking Rather than look at what other people have done, do your own investigations, find out your own information, do your own surveys and investigate an issue. You could take part in the election and voting process, whether that is voting for a party or even standing as a candidate in an election. You may want to take part in petitions that could be filling in an online petition. It could be sharing that petition so other people can fill it in and increase the number of signatures. You could even start your own petition online. You may want to take a job with a charity, with an organisation in order to make change yourself, or you could write to your local MP, to businesses, to companies in order to try and improve the society in which you live. A really good example of this would be the Gina Martin uh, investigations and protections against upskirting. Now, her campaign was a result of being a victim of this crime. So what she did was she began to investigate upskirting and they were found there was no legal protections against women who were victim of this. There were numbers of people who had experienced it. So it was a growing problem. It was a significant issue, but there was no response to it from legal positions. Therefore, she began a campaign in order to make upskirting illegal, to bring it under British law and provide protections for women. And she took part in television interviews, magazine interviews. She really raised awareness that this was an issue that was not being fixed. This even gave the support of political parties like Liberal Democrats, Labour parties, who also began to campaign and support her proposition. All of this came to a head when it was successfully passed into law. And this became part of the voyeurism bill and effectively meant that upskirting was now illegal and anyone found to be committing it could be punished by law. And there we have it. So this is a really good example of an active citizenship and hopefully this video has helped you see the difference between a citizen and an active citizen. So thanks for watching and hopefully this has been of help.